Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to this Power BI guide to the switch function. Um, this is a beginner level guide, uh, but it would be helpful if you do have some existing understanding of the if function, that's a, another DAX function, and if you understand the concept of, of measures within Power BI as well. Okay, so let's dive into a practical example. Okay, so I'm in a dashboard here. Um, I've got very simple data, just using the, the fruit data set that you might have seen in some of my other videos. Um, just got uh, three fruits in the data set, apple, banana, orange, and, and the sales value here. So currently in this table, I've got um, a, a, an additional column in here, which is actually a measure, um, which is called if color, just to demonstrate that I'm using an if statement here. So I'm using a, a nested if statement. So I've got three, uh, three if functions um, used within here. Um, so you can see uh, all I'm doing is I'm saying where where the selected fruit is apple, give me the value red, else if the selected fruit is banana, give me the value yellow, else or orange, uh, then orange, else unknown. So um, this is a very simple example and, and it's not too much uh, hassle when you've just got three levels of an if statement um, or three if statements, three nested if statements. But it, it, you know, the, the the further you go with this, the more statements you have, um, the the more um, more painful the syntax can be to write, and and just uh, uh, the less efficient it can be as well. Um, but it's definitely not not a straightforward way, and not the best way of doing things. So so what I've done instead is, um, and and what we'll do again now is to is to define a switch function that will give us exactly the same thing, but it will look much neater, much less syntax to have to to actually write, um, and and it will give us the same result ultimately as well. So uh, so as you can see, we've got this the, the if column here, we've got red, yellow, and orange as our values, and then unknown shows at the total purely because I don't have a a selected value because um, I'm looking at the total. So the syntax for switch. Um, I've highlighted in this text box at the bottom. So uh, switch is our function. We then type in the value that we want to test. Um, so that is the selected value of fruit in this case. Um, and then we look at the different options for what that value could be and what we want to output if, if uh, we have that option. So uh, you know, we test our uh, where, what our selected value for fruit is. Then if that selected value is apple, then we give the color red, um, and so on. And lastly, we have to uh, apply an, an else um, value. So the, the alternative option, if none of the above criteria are met. So let's define that now. So I've, I've already defined one, but let's, let's uh, do this again from scratch. Um, so I'm just going to go to new measure. Let's call this my uh, switch color just to make it clear I use my switch function here and then our value to test so we're testing a selected value uh, the fruit okay and then I, I, the way that I like to use the switch function is to actually um, apply some carriage returns there to help break up the syntax so it's a bit clearer um, what it is that we're that we're testing in each in each case I'm going to say if the if, if the value is apple then return red else the value is banana, return yellow, else the value is orange, return orange. Um, and then I just apply my final, if none of those conditions are met, um, I'm going to just say unknown again. I'll close my brackets, um, just check the syntax there, all looks good, press enter there. And then once that's loaded, we'll bring that into our into our table here. And you can see that we've got exactly the same values. Um, but let's look again at the syntax. Much simpler syntax um, than we were using previously uh, with our if statement. Let's have a look at the if statement. So you can see a nested if statement. Much more difficult to see what's going on versus the simplicity of a switch statement. So uh, that's all well and good. But let's let's look at a, a, a more um, more of a practical use case for for the switch function. So one of the ways that I've used the switch, switch function um, in in practice has been to 
uh, when, when looking at KPIs and, and trying to develop a scorecard or, or a KPI table here. So I've, I've created a very simple example of that uh, just to demonstrate what, what we might be talking about. So um, let's say, for example, that I want to uh, have a single table with different KPIs in where the calculation for each KPI is different, but I want them to appear on the rows. So here I've got just a, a, a static table um, where I've defined three KPIs, um, ordered one, three, two at the moment, but we can sort that to um, to show uh, sort by KPI ID ascending. We've got KPI one, two, three. We've got an average sales, proportion over target, and maximum sales. So different calculations involved in calculating each of these. But for the purposes of, of um, my report, I want to be able to show the definition on on the same within the same table here. Um, so one of the ways of doing this is to is to use a switch function. So let's just have a look at, at how I've done that. Um, so I've called my switch function KPI value over here, and what I've said is I want you to base the calculation that you do on the KPI ID. So my KPI ID column one two three. I'm saying if that KPI ID is one, then give me the average sales. Which is which is what we've got here. If it's two, this should be um, the percentage over target. So the, the order being incorrect there. Um, and if it's three, we'll use the max sales. So you can see I've got I can reference three different measures. So these are all existing measures that are already um, that I've already defined over here. But I can choose which one of them I refer to by the selected value of that row and my KPI ID in that case. Um, so let's see what that looks like in, in the table in practice. Just let that evaluate. Um, so we'll bring in my KPI value measure into the table. Just expand that table out so you can see. And you can see that we've got uh, a, a different value, different calculation going on at each level here. Now you might think actually that the format's not great. We might want our maximum sales to be a whole number rather than a decimal number here. Um, we might want our proportion over target to actually be a percentage. Um, and I could modify this uh, formula. Let's let's say on the percentage um, side of things, for example, I could use um, uh, the format function just to specify here that actually I, I, I want to um, just look at a, uh, a percentage value. I want, sorry, I want to format as a percentage value. Um, so let's just demonstrate that. You see that now I've got 22% there, and I could format each of these differently. Um, and so that's 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 uh, one use within this scorecard context. And the other is that you could use it to define the the color of the um, uh, of the of the particular cells here as well. So I've created another measure just to demonstrate that, where I've I'm using the switch function again. Um, and I, all I've said this time is, depending on the KPI ID, I'll vary the color that I'm going to um, use to highlight that cell. Um, so let's see how that how that looks. Um, so I'm going to use conditional formatting here. So uh, let's say I want to format the um, KPI name. Let me just go to my KPI name uh, field there, conditional formatting. Let's do the background color. If you want more information on, on conditional formatting, there's a separate video that I've um, uploaded around conditional formatting and I'll make sure that there's a link available to that in the description for this video. So I'm just going to go drop down on format by here and go to field value. And I'm going to uh, base on my KPI color field, which is the switch, fu switch function that I've, I've used already. And I'm just going to click OK to that. And there you'll see that my the color um, varies according to uh, the KPI ID in this case. So that's just a, a couple of uses of the switch function. Um, in, in practice. Um, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you haven't, or if you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, please do add them to the comments under this video. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you again.